I'm going to try this with the light out, and if I don't like it, I'll change it in the next one. But yo, what's up, guys? Screws here. I hope you guys are all having a good day today or a good night. It's like 8 o'clock at night. I honestly never record videos at nighttime. I only record videos at like probably like 1.30 to like 4 o'clock when I get out of school. But I got myself a nice coffee. You know how it goes. Anyway, so basically, if you guys have heard me in previous videos talk about how I have a new series that I want to start, this is basically what it is. And the whole thing is going to be like chill, you know, super chill back, sit down, and just like talk type of things. And don't get me wrong, the normal comedy videos are not going anywhere. I absolutely love making those videos, you know, there's a yin and yang to everything. By yin and yang, I mean, I'll make a whole video about this, but basically there's an up and a down to everything, and you can't enjoy the up without the down, and you can't enjoy the down without the up. I figured I'd have like these chill out longer videos where we talk, and then of course I'll still upload the long comedy videos. Because I love making people laugh, and honestly making those videos is so funny to me. I'll just go back and edit them and laugh. Speaking of that, tomorrow I got a video coming out about Wish products that's going to be really good. So honestly, what I want to do with this series is just be like completely real with life and stuff. Because I find myself in like many situations just like wanting to talk about life and give advice to people. And I hate like being that person that wants to give advice because you know they say there's only two times to give advice as my dad would say. If someone's life depends on it and if they ask for it. But you know, if someone clicks on my video, I guess that means if they ask for it, right? And so maybe I can suppress my urge by making videos. And plus, I feel like I just, I'm more of a stand back person. I observe like human tendencies and just stand back and kind of like, you know, just like watch how things go and see what I can do to improve myself. I've learned a lot of things that benefit me and all my aspects of life and things that I feel like will benefit everybody that I want to share with people. So that's basically what this series is. So as you've seen from the title of this video, this one's, this one's literally about just the fact that you have one life. And this is something like, you know, a lot of people don't realize until they're older, which kind of sucks because it's not good to wait until you're older to realize this. But at the same time, a lot of people just don't learn these things until they're older. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm only 16 years old. I'll be 17 in three days. And it's really nice to be able to, you know, just like have learned things at a young age and things that I feel like are important because... If I've learned them, then I can do my best to share them with other people. Because I'd assume the majority of my audience is about my age, maybe a few years older, maybe a few years younger. But the main thing that's so important with the fact that you have one life is literally the fact that you have to take every opportunity. Like, if you get opportunities, you might waste it in the, in the short time for short time gratification because, you know, you'll feel good now, but maybe not so much later. But there is so many opportunities that come to people that they just, like, take. And it's so important to act on these opportunities. Like, like you literally have one life. I can't put it any more bluntly than that. You, The average life expectancy for a person is 75 years old, which is like very, very short. I mean, the majority of people watching this are already done with at least 15 to 20 years of that, which is a very, very large portion of that. Greater than 20%. So that's really something to think about. So what do you want to do with your life? You know, when opportunities come to you, it's so important to take every single opportunity you can because... In the end, you don't want to be on your deathbed full of resentment. That is the worst thing. That should be what you're terrified of. You should be terrified of laying there about to die thinking, oh, I could have, I would have, I should have. Why don't you just now, you know, just run it, bro. And one of the, the best things you can do to like make sure that this happens and everything goes good for you is to just build the hell out of your experience portfolio. And you're like, what the, what the hell is an experience portfolio? That's like this concept that I kind of made up in my mind. So basically, I mean, like, just get your hands everywhere you can, you know, try everything, like, go paint some walls, go hang out with new groups of people, go try different professions, like, just read books, read books from all different genres, talk to people, learn a new language, like, literally just do all kinds of things, go hike a trail, go ride your bike, like, literally just build your experience portfolio. Because all of intelligence and all of life success and all of enjoyment and building a life where you don't have resentment when you're laying on your deathbed is comes from just having all these experiences. So at the end of it, you can just be like, all right, I'm ready to go. I mean, my great grandpa, he just passed away a year ago, maybe almost two years now, which is crazy. He was 94 years old and he had traded stocks his whole life. He was in the military. He went around the entire world. And when he was on his deathbed, he was like, you know what? I'm, I'm ready to go. And that's so humbling to me. I, I want to be in that position. It's so important to be in that position because if you're ready to go, that means you're ready, man. You're just, you've done it all. Life's good and you're just ready to peacefully go. And the last thing you want to do is have your family sad and you be upset when you're dying because if you know that you are content when you're dying because you did everything you could, 
everybody else is going to know that as well. And it's just going to make everything better. And the end will just be so much more clear. And it'll be a happy ending to your story. Your life book. Which leads me to even more. You want to live a long life. I know you want to live a long life. And quite frankly, I don't know the future of what's going to happen with technology and stuff. I've heard a lot, a lot of stuff about like technology coming out that's going to slow cell death. So, you know, we might be able to live 100 to 120 years or even situations where it's possible to upload yourself to an AI thing if you have a lot of money. But realistically, you don't want to live any longer than natural. You know, you want to live a natural, perfect human life and just relax into it and just ride the storm. You know what I mean? Jim Morrison couldn't have said it any better. Riders on the storm, baby. But that's real shit, you know? You just have to ride it out. And so that leads me to my next point. Just take care of yourself, bro, honestly. I cannot stress that enough how important it is to take care of yourself. And that's not just your body. That's your mind, too. If I had to say your mind is probably more important than your body, by taking care of your mind, make sure your mental health is okay. Make sure you have those days off where you just need to relax. Although you shouldn't use that as an excuse, you know, if you work hard and you're and you're very diversified in what you do in your life and you go out and do different things, it's really important to rest. I mean, physically, it's very important as well. I mean, every single night you rest for like six to 10 hours. I mean, the lazier people will rest for 10 hours and then the more productive people rest for six hours. But no matter what, your body still needs daily rest. And so does your mind. You have to give yourself downtime on top of whatever you're doing. But it's very, very important to take care of your body. I mean, you literally only get one body. It's really kind of a sad, hard concept to grasp, but it teaches you a lot of things about your mind if you learned how to take care of your body. It's important to exercise. Make that part of your daily routine. You know, you wake up, you brush your teeth, you eat breakfast, you exercise. Once you just make it part of your daily routine, it's important. Because you'll just get so caught up in your day-to-day -day stuff, you're like, oh, exercise isn't that important. And then you'll be full of resentment, regret later in your life when you're like, oh, I should have taken care of my body. So I'm not saying you have to hit the gym every day, but just be active, eat some fruits and vegetables every day. I know that sounds gross, but I promise you find some good vegetables like carrots and you find some good fruits, you know, like strawberries or bananas. I eat bananas every day. You'll be healthier and you'll just feel better. Food direct, I'll have an entire video on this, but I promise you food directly impacts your motivation and how you feel. Not to mention, it's gonna make you feel better in the long run because you're just gonna be an overall healthy person. You're gonna have all the vitamins you need. You're just gonna live longer and be happier. Just really take care of your body, and I mean that, man, because your body is what harbors your mind, your spirit, and you wanna keep that alive within you for as long as you possibly can. It's a sad thing to see people that just waste their body and completely treat themselves unhealthy because you know they have a good spirit in there, but it's just trapped in this body that's just full of bad habits. So if you have bad habits, I really recommend trying to get out of them. I'll have an entire video coming on how to get rid of bad habits. Literally just this one video branches me out into so many different ideas for videos. But I really mean this stuff, guys. You have one life, and I mean that with everything in me. Take every single opportunity you get. It's very, very important. Probably the most important thing you can learn out of your school, out of your job, out of everything. I guarantee the most important thing you can learn is that you have one life, and that's really important, man. I'm not a very religious guy. I know many people believe in religion and afterlife, and none of us know if that's true or not. And the problem with that is, I respect every single person that believes in a religion. I think religion teaches great things. But the thing about that is, people get caught up in saying, oh, it's okay, it doesn't matter what I do in this life because I have an afterlife. And that saddens me. Because in one of the greatest novels of all time that I read a couple years ago, To Kill a Mockingbird, one of the lines that stood out to me, I remember underlining it when I read it, the old neighbor lady is talking to the little girl. She says, honey, some people get so caught up in the afterlife that they forget to live this one that is guaranteed. There is nothing that is more real than this. You're alive right now watching this. You're breathing in and out. Your heart's pumping and tomorrow's a new day. So you have one life, man. Live it, please.